I have a very good support system, okay. um, especially first and foremost, my husband. He mm -hmm. is supportive, um, encouraging, mm -hmm. but most importantly, he is understanding. You know, he understands my goals and dreams, and he pushes me to reach them. Hello, Malaysia. Hello, world. Apa kabar? Welcome to another ECM Talk program with topic There's no beauty better than intellect. I'm Raja Shahrul, your host. Beauty always adds to brain. Beauty alone is never capable of achieving something. Beauty is all about your personality. What kind of person you are and brain is required to utilize this beauty in a, in a better way. So beauty and brain can get together. Beauty is God's gift. We can't change our outer appearance, but we definitely change our inner appearance. Let us hear from this beauty here that I have with me, Ms. Nazira Nasir, a public figure and a SAGI University alumna with the topic, there's no beauty better than intellect. Actually, this is a hadith from the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Peace be upon him. This couldn't have been a better topic, I must say. Welcome to ECM Talk, Nazira Nasir. <laughs> Apa kabar? Kabar baik. Alhamdulillah. All <laughs> Thank right. you so much for having me. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Maybe we can start with you introducing yourself, uh, uh, Nazira, and and tell us a bit about you. Okay, I I was born in Montreal, Canada. Okay. Yeah, I would, um, I've stayed in Australia for mm -hmm. roughly five years and then we moved to the UK mm -hmm. and stayed there for three years. Mm. And um, I came back to Malaysia when I was 17 and I did my foundations in Segi. Okay. And then I did my degree and here I am now. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. You're, you've been everywhere. Yeah, I'm yeah. a nomad. <laughs> <laughs> where do you like most but where you, when, when um, you were overseas? I preferred Australia. Oh, you like Australia? Yeah, because I think I had my, most of my childhood there. So I had friends and yeah, it was an enjoyable moment. Which part of Australia? Are you? Tasmania. That's, oh, yeah. you're right down south. Yeah, yeah okay. down under. <laughs> down under, right, yes. Tell us a bit about your current interest, uh, Nazira. Yeah. My current interest, um, well, due to the pandemic, you mm. know, it truly has changed me mm. in so many ways in terms of I've been more interested and focus on self-improvements, just improving on my cooking skills, my crafting skills, um, my reading skills, you know, I can now read fictional, non-fictional books because I, I honestly didn't have the time back then. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I've also been trying to live a healthier lifestyle, you know, mm -hmm. eating healthy food, mm -hmm. exercising mm -hmm. and taking care of my mental health because mm -hmm. I know that it will affect my physical health. Absolutely. Yeah. If it's not in a good condition, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I feel like people should be more concerned with their mental health as well. Mm -hmm. Should prioritize this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So those are yeah. my current interests. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. I wish I could do the same anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's your next plan? My next plan, yeah. um, I haven't thought about it thoroughly, honestly, mm -hmm. but there has been something on the back of my mind mm -hmm. where I would want to um, contribute my energy or you know, even seek a position at the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, mm -hmm. um, MOSTI, mm -hmm. um, because I feel like working in the government sector, working with the ministers maybe, mm -hmm. um, they are capable of making changes towards our nation, towards mm -hmm. Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So I would want to pursue in that field mm. one day, inshallah. inshallah. But obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best planner of all. Yes. And mm. if he thinks that's the best pathway for me, yeah. then I would, he would easily go you know? yes. Inshallah. Yeah. Now, what specifically in that uh, part of what you, you want to achieve that you're targeting? Anything specific? Yeah. Um, I would want to you know, uh, find a solution to anything that needs fixing, you know, mm. because I believe everything has a solution to it. Yeah. But, um, like I said, I haven't thought about it thoroughly. Mm. I do not know the pr pr procedure. Just playing your mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because mm. PhD is my current plan. Of course. Mm. For my previous plan. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, mm. uh, it's going to be something that I'll have to think about. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how do you balance within your 
personal life, your <laughs> career, your work, and study. You know, I mean, there's four different priorities there. Yes. You know. How do you do? Um, how do you go about it? Yeah. I believe it's all about time management. Mm. If you know how to balance your time properly, mm. you can manage your time. Mm. You are more focused. You are mm. organized. Mm. You know, you are disciplined. Yeah. Uh, my dad, he once taught me a technique where you have like a schedule, and then it mm. says um, you have a column, and then you have a important and urgent. Right. And the next column will say not important but urgent. Right. And then the next column will say it's not important and not urgent. So right. you get the kind of technique, right? Yeah. yeah. So that I, it truly really has helped me. I um having that kind of plan, weekly plan. So, um, yeah, I, I, I followed it and it kept me, my, I know my priorities. I know what I had to do next. I was mm. focused. Mm. I didn't delay, I didn't have, you know, I didn't waste any time. Right. I wasn't procrastinating that much, that oh, much. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, but at the same time, I feel like people shouldn't put so much pressure on themselves. You know, when you have a schedule yeah, to follow, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. you get so stressed up. And mm. you know the complication that it has if you are stressed, right? Hormones, mm. uh, breakouts, hair loss. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. Hair loss, yeah. I <laughs> no, I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to say that. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't mean no, to say I'm just that. kidding. I'm yes, so go sorry. on, please. Yeah, go. I was yes. just thinking of stress. I get yes. hair loss as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, mm. people should have some quality time for themselves of as well. But in a way, you're quite fortunate or lucky because you've got you got your father who more or less have that schedule yes, to correct. sort of help teach me. you, help mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. But what about people who don't have someone like that who can oh, that opportunity to to sort of guide you? You know, then they would have to look at me. <laughs> they would have to find me an inspiration. No, I'm just right, kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah, they would have to find their own method, you know, or mm. probably. Um, probably find a way that could help them mm. in terms of scheduling, managing, mm. Mm. you know, because we have everything on our fingertips. Exactly. Now we can Google, mm. we can go for classes, yeah. tutors. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So always have a positive mind. Yeah. I think that's more important than nowadays. Correct. Yes, right, yeah. Okay. Um, what are the things that inspire you to achieve all these milestones? <laughs> yeah. Um, there must be something, yeah. yeah. Yes, mm. I, you know when it comes to inspiration, I didn't have to look far. Mm. Like I said, um, I just had to look at the study room or the living room, my dad would be there. Mm. And he was so dedicated and motivated to his work and mm. that really inspired me. Mm. So my mom as well, although she's just a housewife, but being a housewife is not an easy task. Of course, yes. Um, yeah. She is brave, she is independent, she is hardworking, she's kind. Mm. Those are the, all the characteristics that you need in the working world, you know? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. with the combination of them too, it, it, it is what made me the person I am today, you know? Mm. I, I took their good morals. <laughs> I mean, you're so blessed. You know? yeah. I mean, uh, what more than parents giving you all Correct. this? Yes? Yeah. You, you can't possibly look up at someone else yeah. but your parents, mm -hmm. right? In fact, even the topic for today, you're talking about something that came from the hadith, hadith Rasulullah mm -hmm. and, and how that came about actually um, sorry I meant to ask you earlier <laughs> how that that, that topic mm -hmm. came about you know when you cause you said you use that in your social media and all this bio yeah, yeah. in your bio how, yeah. how that came about actually um, I, I don't know I felt like I wanted to share with people like it's knowledge is important you know you need yeah. to be intellectual yeah and it's not just about pretty looks Honestly, mm. it's not just mm. having a pretty bank account. <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> and true. You need to have knowledge as well. It's important. It gives you confidence to stand up to people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I wanted to deliver that message. I didn't just want to be a pretty face, you know? Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, although I, I may not be pretty, but you know, you get what I mean. <laughs> I wouldn't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, how do you plan to give back to the community after completing your education? That is Have a, that given a thought? Yeah, yeah that is yeah. a very good question. Yeah. Mm. Uh, my research project now mm. it could be contributing towards the farmers mm. by providing them, a, by providing their animals a safer environment. That is what I'm currently doing. Okay. I said could because I've not completed. It's still in a yeah. working progress. Understood. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I would want to, you know, explore more on that field. Mm. Try to help out the farmers. We tend to not 
take we tend to let, take it lightly. I would say, you know, people. Why, why is that? Is it because of them being farmers, or is it because there is no people just sort of segregate them because of what they are? Ah, uh, I wouldn't want to labelize them. Yeah, precisely. That's what's happening now. Don't yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. and um, the reason why I wanted to focus more on that is because. Mm. Like having a farm, like having those animals, like buffaloes, cattle, they're not cheap. Of course, yeah. So yeah. It, it, once they are, they are affected with that disease, they they lo they have a huge loss, you You're know, right. in the right. in terms of their business. Right. So I would really want to contribute on that right. field. Right. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Pro try to provide them like a safer alternative. Uh, mm -hmm. For them not to have so much loss in the in mm -hmm. their business. Right. Mm -hmm. Where do you think they are now, our Malaysian farmers, compared where to what they were say ten years ago? What do you think? Um, are uh, they given better opportunity now, sorry? or do you think they, they are given better opportunity uh, to 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 go up? That's the that's and, the solution and, yeah. I want to find. Yes. Uh, find yes, the issue yes, within yes. them. Um, because yeah, when you studied in, 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 in Canada, like in Australia, mm -hmm. farmers, they are Develop. they're very developed yeah. and they're doing very well. Yeah. You know, like in Australia, they're millionaires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Farmers, you know, in Australia are millionaires. You yeah. know? Now, how do you think you can do that with our Malaysian farmers? Uh, it, it all takes baby steps, you know, to make yeah. big changes. Of course. I yeah. can't just simply make, because farmers, mm. they're... Even when it comes to vaccine, vac vaccinating their animals, they they're quite they they do not want to vaccinate their animals. Some farmers, right. because you know they feel like you know vaccination. Um, even us humans, some people don't want to take yeah. vaccine. Tell right? me about it. Yeah. it. It's all the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, concept. Yeah. So um, it all takes baby steps, and I, I would I would say. It's all about convincing awareness, exactly. you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to aware them about the disease, about yeah. the complications. Yeah, right. It all, all many factors. Yes. Yeah, many factors. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you're a saggy alumna. Yes, correct. Now maybe you can tell us a little bit about your enjoyable moment here at Segi. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean. I, I mean, studying time, I mean, being a, a student has always been very fascinating for lots of, of people, yeah? yeah? Share us yours. Yeah. Um, I think the best, most enjoyable moment, um, I think when Sagi hosts like their International Cultural Day. Are you ah, okay? yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've attended a few yeah. of them, yes. And then yes. they have like food fair, Correct. and then you get to try other people's culture. I truly love that. You know, right. I didn't have to go, I didn't have to take a plane to go there. You right. know, I tried yeah. from Mauritius, from Yemen. Oh, it was so fun, mm. and um, I also partic participated in a fashion walk. Um, you did, yes. Okay. But then the funny thing is, I represented Saudi Arabia oh instead God. of Malaysia. How did, so how did that come about? I mean, yeah. um, I was helping our friend. Mm. Yeah, he needed a partner to mm. walk down the fashion mm. show. Okay. So yeah, but then I was like wearing like an abaya, so people wouldn't recognize me. Right. They'd be like, "She's a scammer. She's not from okay. okay. <laughs> She's All right. Malaysian." When was this? What? Do you I, 2006, 8, 17, around there, 18. I was there, Where you know, really? at the event. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were in That's why you didn't I, see I, me. I, I couldn't see you, yes. Okay, all right, yes. Um, right, now, uh, Nazira, maybe you can share with us some secrets on or study tips that uh, that has made where you are today, yeah? your study journey. <laughs> okay. Maybe some advice uh, um, from you. Yeah. I think along the way I've given up, you know, I've told you about time management. Uh, when it comes to study tips, they're all the same. You know, you have mm. to practice the past papers. You have to um, create a mind map. They're all basic. Yeah. Because what's important is your mental health. You need to be happy and healthy in Correct. order for you to make the right decisions Correct. in life. Yeah. So, um, so uh, even if you had a problem, you have to put it aside. You have to clear your mind. Yeah. You may have to in order for you to focus on the specific subject. It's true. Yeah. 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 Mm. So. Would people around you play a major factor in this? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I have a very good support system, okay. um, especially first and foremost, my husband. He mm. is supportive, um, encouraging, mm -hmm. but most importantly, he is understanding. You know, he understands my goals and dreams and he pushes me to reach them. So that's uh, a blessing for me because Absolutely. it's very hard to find yeah. someone who doesn't clip your wings. Yeah. And, and I myself, I understand my responsibilities as a, as a wife. Yeah. 
So uh, I know my priorities as well. I have to balance it, you know, yeah. um, taking care of my husband and all. But when it comes to a, a good support system, my in-laws, my family members, um, and I could count with my fingers the amount of friends that I have. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's all about quality rather than quantity. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. if you have like a lot of friends, that's so your, your yeah. preference. Like I <laughs> yeah, but, but the thing is, sometimes you don't know who can really be with you. Yes, correct. During the good times yeah. and the bad times. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Those are true friends. Yeah. Which usually are hard to come by. Yes, yes. that's why uh, I have a very small good circle that I can take care of. They can good. take care of me. Very good. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Alhamdulillah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nazira. Thank You're you very welcome. much. Yes. All right. Thank you, Nazira Nasir, for your interesting sharing on this topic and giving us the imagination of appreciating beauty deeper. <laughs> there are many examples of beauty with brains, like Nelson Mandela. He was a great man with great thoughts and a beautiful soul. And there is Ashwara Rai Bashan, the ex Miss World, whose model, actress, where her beauty has brought her fame and took her career high. We should see the two qualities differently. And for some beauty is the key to get successful and for some brain is the key to become successful. So these two should be judged separately. Hard work matters. Beauty and brains are undoubtedly a unique combination to excel in life. Once again, thank you Nazira Nasir for being in our program and we wish you all the best in your future interview. Thank you. Sagians, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Edu Channel Malaysia. Until we meet again in our next program, take care and stay safe everyone. Jumpa lagi.